Good afternoon, good morning, whatever time it is that you're seeing this. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another day in the life of It's Just Nay. So, as you can see, I said yes to a dress. So, this video is going to basically be my, um... My reviews on how my wedding dress shopping experience went. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I really do hope that you guys, you know, start to share with your friends and family my channel. You know, I know I don't post a lot on here, but you know, I am trying to grow my viewers and my subscribers. But, anyways, enough with the nuances. So, I went to New York to find a dress. Um, my mom pay, is the one paying for my dress, and so I went by her budget. Um, I visited four different places. The first place I went to on Thursday, and that was the only place I went to, and it was Kleinfeld. Um, so I got there a little bit early. They told me to wait in the waiting area. To me, it seemed much smaller than it looks on TV, um, but that just could be me. Um... I didn't see any of the consultants that you see on TV, like Randy and, you know, the other um, consultants that you would normally see on, say, yes, the dress. And that's fine. You know, I did see the owner. He was there with the dog that sometimes we see on TV if you watch the show. Um, so, you know, the consultants are coming out. They're asking, all you know, who's the bride? Who do you have with you? I went by myself. Unfortunately, you know, my mom did have to work, and I didn't really tell how I was going to find those because I know she probably would have thought, like, hey, you're not getting a dress from there. Like, <laughs> which I wasn't, I knew because of the budget that she gave me, I wasn't probably going to find, you know, a dress at Kleinfeld's. But it's just always been my dream to go there. Um, and I'm glad I went. Um... But yeah, so that part is definitely just like the show. Um, so when my consultant came out, you know, she greeted me, whatever. We went back, said, what's your budget? Told her my budget. She asked me what kind of dresses I was looking for. I told her, so I wanted like strapless, you know, sparkle, fit and flare, or A-line, whatever. So she goes, she picks out a few dresses, she comes, and she's like, which one do you want to try out first? Because I didn't have anybody there with me, I just stayed in that room the whole time, putting on dresses, looking at myself in the mirror, seeing what I liked and what I didn't like. So that part of it, like, I didn't really care for Like, I know I'm there by myself, and there's nobody for me to show dresses to, but there was, like, a couple of mirrors where, like, they could, she could have bought me out and, like, I could have looked in those mirrors to kind of give me that bridal experience. Because it's... It's Kleinfeld's. I thought I was going to have like a 10 out of 10 experience because it's Kleinfeld's. Like you want to keep the brand of your name up there. And I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying bad, anything bad about Kleinfeld's itself. It was just my personal experience. Um, so yeah, she'll put me in a dress. Do you like it? And I'm like, um, like this is what I don't like about it. Whatever, whatever. You know, in my head, a bridal consultant is supposed to tell you, you look beautiful, or it really fits your body shape, or, you know, maybe we can look for something else that'll make, that'll accentuate the features that you want to accentuate, you know, and, like, let's look for something different, or, like, let's look for something more sparkly, you know, things like that. Um, but mostly what I got from my consultant was, do you like it? And if I said, Yes, she said, okay, so, like, is there anything you don't like about it? And I will proceed to tell her. And, like, it was nothing other than that. So, your appointment time is, like, an hour and a half that they give you. And it went like this. Like, it went so fast. I think I only tried on maybe four dresses, maybe. There was a lot of the time where she was either looking for the dresses or she just wasn't in the room. Um... But, yeah, it was, like, a 5 out of 10, I would say. Um, the dresses were okay. I mean, I the price point that I gave her, you know, it wasn't going to be wow. Like, there were some pretty dresses that I did try on, and I was like, this is so pretty. But, it, no, it just wasn't it. Um, I'm sorry, can I hear that? That is my dog. <laughs> she's, she's just, I don't know, being a baby today. Um, but yeah, so the next day, um, I went to the three other places. I went to Bridal World, Wedding Plaza, and Lotus Bridal. 
Bridal World is the one that I went to first. And, you know, my mom had a couple of questions to ask the consultant or whatever, which is fine. They, you know, she answered the questions, whatever, whatever. She asked me my, you know, my vision, you know, what kind of dress, budget, things like that. So she pulled a couple of dresses or whatever, and I went to go try them on. First dress I tried on. She's like, wow, this looks so beautiful on you. And I was like, I want to see how it looks with my veil because I feel like it will, you know, it'll complement my veil. Um, and she told my mom and my cousin to close their eyes or whatever. And they did. And so I put the dress on. I fit really, really nicely. And I came out. They opened their eyes and they were like, yeah, this is really, really pretty. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was so, so freaking pretty. And it matched my veil perfectly and i was like wow this for first dress awesome um then i was like all right like let me try on something else and i don't remember the second dress i tried on it may have been like a different like top or something like maybe it was a halter i don't remember but it was like a completely different direction because the first one i tried on was fit and flare it was strapless it was sparkly you know the second one was definitely in a different direction and i was like mm, not really feeling it whatever so i tried on a couple more and then i tried on another one that was similar to the first one and like it was strapless it was sparkly all that it was fit and flare and i was like i like this one too like i don't know <laughs> my mom was like i don't know i'm not feeling it like there's just something about it that i'm not feeling and i was like Kind of looked at it and I was like, okay, I could kind of see like where you're coming from. But you know, every dress I tried on, the consultant was like, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty, you have a great figure. Blah, 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 blah. So I went back and I tried on the first dress again. I come out and the song that I'm walking down the aisle to plays because they were playing music. And there's no way that they, you know, like, I don't know if they were playing off their phone or whatever, but I never said anything about, like, song I'm walking into for my ceremony, but it plays the second time I put on the first dress. And I'm just like, this is God saying, this is your dress, girl, this is your dress. So, she tells me to close my eyes and to visualize my husband, my family, you know, she puts, like, a fake bouquet in my hand, and I look in the mirror. I didn't cry or anything, but I was just like... Wow, my wedding song is playing. My veil is beautiful. My the dress I have on fits like a glove. It's beautiful. It needs slight, slight altering, like very, very little altering. It was right on point for price, like dead spot on for budget. Um, and it was just like, wow, like meant for me, like literally meant for me. So she was like, I know you have other appointments, but like, I was like, I think this is the one. I was like, I'm going to give you like a, basically a yes, you know, whatever. She's like, all right, just let me know, like, you know, whatever, whatever. She's like, but I'm going to make, like, I know this is your dress. Like, I, I, I just know. It. And I was like, I think so too. I went to the next place. Um, the lady was like on her phone the whole time. Like she was not saying you look pretty. She was not saying you look beautiful. She was, and this was the wedding dress. It was just like, mm, okay. And then the dresses were like subpar. Like the dresses were okay. Like maybe one, I was like, okay, like this could be it. But just my experience there was just like, mm. last and final stop was Lotus Bridal. I know online I see a lot of pretty dresses, and it's not that. They didn't have pretty dresses because there were some where I was like, what do you think, mom? Like, this could be the one, maybe, I don't know. Like, it's close runner-up. Like, I did feel pretty in some of them, but it was just wasn't hitting. And the customer service there was okay. Like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was okay. So, after that, I was like, you know what? We gonna call that lady from, you know, Bridal World, and we gonna let her know. So the dress, you know, my mom put down the deposit or whatever, and the dress is mine, and I'm gonna look so pretty, and I'm just so happy that I said yes to a dress. And you know, like wedding dress shopping wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. 
because it's all about customer service and your experience while you're trying on the dresses. I swear, it makes a difference. This video is longer than I expected it to be, like, but, um, I'm glad you guys joined me for another video if you watched. And, um, thank you for joining me in another day in life. It's just Nina. Peace out. My love.